Hey guys, it's George with the J back again with another video. Today we'll be unboxing the iPhone 12 Pro, the silver color, I believe is what they just call it, even though it looks white, but we'll see. All right, this is the 128 gigabyte variant, I believe. Let me double check, just to make sure. Yep, 128 gigabytes. Let's go. Um, now this one, I'm not even sure what the price of it is. I think it's $9.99, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, really, we got it because um, with our carrier, there was some pretty good deals. I mean, <clears throat> it was trade-in trade in an iPhone XR, and you get 400, over $400 back. Um, to use towards the purchase of the iPhone 12 Pro. So, I mean, it just made sense. This phone sells for, I think, $499 new, and they were giving us over $400, a little over $400 to, to trade it in. So, yeah, so this phone is going to be replaced by the 12 Pro, at least for us it is. Let's see here. So this is the, the box art, I guess inside a little cut out for the camera here here's the phone see so yeah, this is what i'm talking about it's called silver but it really looks white it actually looks whiter on camera i think than it does in person but and then the bezels are that polished stainless steel and then no more plastic all the way wrapped around i don't know if you guys remember it used to be plastic wrapped the front, top, and then through the back. Now it's just this paper on the front here. Let's set that aside for now though. In the box, if you've seen my other videos, you already know that there's not much in here anymore. Just the SIM eject tool and the uh, USB-C to lightning cable that they supply now. The funny thing is they don't supply you with a charging brick because everybody has a bunch of charging bricks laying around, right? Um, but the thing is that this is USB-C to Lightning. Most people have the regular USB to Lightning, so you have to go out and buy there. You have to go out and buy a new, um, a new charging brick for this so you can connect to your, so you can connect it and actually use their fast charging or else if you use your old, um, chargers, they will work, but they're five watts, um, only five watts of charging. Let's go ahead and take this. Let's turn it on here. Just for size comparison, I mean. So the iPhone 12 is actually a little bit smaller than the iPhone 10R or XR, whatever it's called, but screen size is actually the same. The screen size on both of these is actually the same. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and then uh, we'll be back. Just with first impressions, I guess. Ooh. Okay. Uh, maybe because it's cold. But you know what? I think this one is actually better for fingerprints than my... Um, so the back doesn't really attract... I mean, you can kind of see them. But it's not like... It's not like a how on this one. You know, it's glossy. So you can definitely see all the fingerprints on this one. Um, this one, it's, it's like a, a frosted back glass. It's not that noticeable. You can actually, I can see them kind of on camera, but here in real life, like in person, you can't really see them. But it's a different story when we talk about these bezels. These bezels definitely are finger, fingerprint magnets. Magnets. But I mean, regardless, the case is going to go on this, so that should help mitigate some of these. 
And for everybody that doesn't know, I have seen that people are asking, what is this on these new iPhone 12s? What is this cut out? Let's just go over this real quick, okay? SIM card tray is now on the left side of the phone. The volume rocker on the left, up and down. And then this is the, the mute toggle switch. And on the other side, we have the power button, pretty much in the same place where it's always been. But then this down here is actually the five, this is a cutout for the 5G, 5G antenna. Um, so they had to create some, a little cutout here, a little window. So uh, you could get that 5G, which has been all the hype. And I don't know about you guys, but actually in my area, my 4G LTE uh, from T-Mobile was really sucky. Um, I'd get like 10 download and one upload, which is horrible. But with this 5G, I actually tested it out. And at least here in my house, I mean, it doesn't really matter in my house because we have wi we have super fast Wi-Fi here. But um, in my house, I get about 100 on average of upload and 30 to 40. Um, sorry, excuse me. I get about 100 on average for download and about 30 to 40 on upload. Around town, I've seen anywhere... I mean, I'm not even sure where the 5G antenna is around here, or else I'd go stand next to it and see what kind of speeds we get there. But just around town, I have noticed that it goes anywhere between 50 to like 300 upload and anywhere between 10 to 50 uh, upload. So, I mean, it's a big improvement, at least for me, the 5G is. So it's it's well worth it. Besides getting this at a great price, um, just the reception wise, you know, just being out and knowing you have pretty darn good reliable uh cell service is, is is worth the upgrade so setting up a new iphone is pretty easy um you just pop this up and you bring up your old iphone next to the new iphone um pretty much just put them next to each other and it, it'll tell you it'll give you an alert on your old iphone do you want to use this iphone to set up your new one and you just click yes and then you just have to line up that um the image on the new iphone on the new on the old iphone camera and it'll bring this up for you so it tells you to put in your password all right we do that that's pretty much it now it's setting up my new iphone so everything gets transferred over as long as it's as long as your old iphone has been backed up you're good to go pretty easy